Just imagine uh, the performance you're able to get from that from a, a satellite that's maybe only 150 kilos. So the space industry is changing very rapidly from the big bus six-ton geostationary orbit satellites to low earth orbit satellites that are maybe the size of a shoebox. It's a revolution in the way the space industry works. Uh, but in order to deliver the performance, you need to have an antenna that is much smaller and much more compact. So our antennas, uh, for example, our, our flagship product is the wrapped rib antenna, which uh, starts at size this sort of size and expands to a three meter or a five meter antenna. Just imagine uh, the performance you're able to get from that, from a, a satellite that's maybe only 150 kilos. So using SOLIDWORKS, we're able to uh, visualize how this uh, intricate mechanism is going to work to allow the designers to do that. And also we can use it to, to create a visual model for our customers to show them what it's going to do to allow them to understand how it integrates into that satellite. So what we have is, a, is an, an integration between radio frequency engineering, materials and mechanics, and motion structures. Using SOLIDWORKS allows us both to, to visualize, to build, to simulate the deployment, and obviously then feed into the other packages we've got. The great thing about SOLIDWORKS simulation is that it's integrated to the, to the CAD software. So during the design process, we can very quickly assess the structural performance of uh, components. So we can just very, uh, while we are designing, just run a, a static stress analysis, for example, to find out if the material is going to fail and then uh, iterate straight away the, the simulation uh, that is integrated. So we, we can do model analysis as well. So if we are designing a tooling for vibration, for example, we can know the, the first mode frequency of that part before we continue with the design. And same for the motion structure. And so we use it as part of the design to get faster to a, to a good product. So we've, we've used SOLIDWORKS simulation a lot for static simulation. So that's where it comes handy, uh, where we have to quickly check if some certain parts are within the load carrying capacity or fit or not. It also helps us to optimize parts. So if we want to uh, do some mass saving so we can quickly use the topology function in SOLIDWORKS uh, to do so. So for example, if we want to see um, there's just one load acting on a part, um, can we get rid of the extra mass that we have put that load into the SOLIDWORKS system and uh, it will tell you which part of the piece part is not being used so we could get rid of the materials in those areas. Uh, we use the PDM system uh, um, to, to manage all those, our SOLIDWORKS documents, so all the CAD documents, and uh, manage the configuration, which is very important, to make sure uh, the, the parts can be approved um, by the right people, so signed off. When the parts are released, uh, we can automatically create a PDF and step file to give to our suppliers. So the PDM is really important for us because, you know, to, to create a, a quality product, we need to manage the configuration very well. So we manufacture a lot of metallic composites and 3D printed piece parts. So we've used SOLIDWORKS for all of them. We've used STL formats to 3D print here in-house. We've used uh, step files and drawings to send out to suppliers to machine the piece parts. And we have used SOLIDWORKS drawings to dictate how we want the composite to be laid up. So it was a very good tool to communicate with our suppliers. It's not just a question of having the package, of course. Training and experience is vital to that. We have a range of, of, of engineers from those who are just starting out their careers through to those who are extremely experienced. So bringing that skill level up allowing the training, whether it's through our own super users or through support, is a vital part of, of personal development for all of our engineers. Solid Solution is has great support, so they're always available. If we have a problem, if I have a problem right now on my uh, workstation and SolidWorks is somehow doing something funny, <laughs> um, 
you know, I, I just need to call the number and someone will answer in, you know, in a few seconds and then they can straight log in, um, connect to my machine, have a look and uh, help me solve the problem live. So that's, that's really great.